Hi everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well. I was guided during meditation today to do a video to see how the divine unions are going or divine masculine, divine feminine. And um, there goes a skateboarder going right along. I just was looking through the cards and the one fairy card said get some exercise. <laughs> I haven't been getting much exercise in here. I just wish we could get out and go for a walk like near a creek or something. <laughs> and it was a little rainy and cold here in Pennsylvania, so. But, okay. So we are going to pull some cards for the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and their energies um, that is bringing them together or what energy might be forming or they're both going towards. Archangel Michael um, came to me and Faith and they both want to. That is his Divine Mas uh, Feminine. And uh, Archaia Faith wants to... Um, Help us with the Divine Feminine's the perspective of uh, how to hold our balance and hold our faith. And Divine, um, or Archangel Michael, came to me because um, it's, it's a time now that a lot of unions are going to be taking place. And I think to, to um, give us that... Um, that feeling of um, have faith in this and uh, look forward to it envision it if this is what you um, if this is your path and if you're led to this video today that's because you probably are a Divine Masculine or a Divine Feminine, and you're guided here by your guides or by one of the Archangels, because they're working diligently to bring these unions together. Okay, let's, we're going to work with the uh, Fairy Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I've used these in the past. I love the Earth Angels. I love their fun whimsiness and they're down to earth nature, because after all, they are earth angels. And what is the first card for the divine masculine? Do you want to start with the divine masculine, Angel Michael? And remember, like I was saying about, um, you know, thinking positively, remember that your thoughts create your reality. And it's real important to keep positive thoughts about your unions and your counterpart. We've got two here. The nine of spring and the ten of summer. I'm feeling the nine of spring is for the divine masculine and the ten of summer is for the divine feminine. Am I right? Right, okay. Protect the fruits of your labors. Prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead, environmental converse, conservation. And the fairies always watch out for Mother Gaia and, and the plant kingdoms and the animal kingdoms. So this is just letting you know that, you know, to protect the fruits that you've labored for because there could be possible challenges that lie ahead and um, environmental conservation for the divine masculine. I'll read from the book then. Let me read hers too. This is a nice handbook with it. Nine of spring is the nine of wands. So always look as the wands as, you know, in the other tarot decks, carrying the wands on your back. Nine is endings of that hardship, always focusing on things that are weighing you down, um, what you've worked for, you know, carrying that all around your shoulders. Ten of summer, which would be the Ten of Cups, an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, 
people you can trust. And that's nice. There's a nice family sitting in the in the little boat here. Ten of Cups. When you get your Ten of Cups, that's happiness. That's fulfillment. And um, creating that life you want and you, you know, that you've dreamed of. I feel like it's itching. I don't know why. Feeling, hearing, get moving in the direction you want. Okay, let's read. Nine of Spring. Like I said, the spring suit is um, the wands and usually is a fiery um, suit that uh, you know can be associated with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Usually, when the court cards or a card that has you know a um, page or something, usually we refer to that. But this could be mean you know the movement, the um, fiery uh, determination in your life to strive for the best. You want the best for your union. And this is for the Divine Masculine, so I'm sure he wants the best for... Oh, that door is still back there. He still didn't paint that. <laughs> Bugs me when I see it every time. Um, wants the best for his Divine Feminine. And uh, let's see... Additional meanings are attending to the protection of what you've created, preparing for challenges that lie ahead, having a strong immune system, keeping your resolve. Okay, as your hard work pays off and you have more and more to show for your efforts, it becomes very important to look after the fruits of your labors. The energy out in the world can be intense. Every moment, every, whoops, sorry. I was saying that, you know, I'm doing this reading a little late. It's that time of day when it's harder for me to see clearly, so bear with me, sorry. Every morning as you start your day, ask God, the angels, and the fairies to protect you from negative people and energies. You're up to the tasks set before you. This is also a card that reflects envir environmentalists and those who love all the plants and animals, Mother Earth, of Mother Earth. Stand up for important causes such as protecting wildlife, the oceans, and our food sources. A beautiful fairy stands in defense of the newly bloomed daffodils in her garden. She is joined by her ladybug friends to show unity with nature in her cause. Yeah, it's important to um, protect Mother Gaia, Mother Terra Earth, and to watch after her. And make sure everyone's treating her with the best respect and her kingdoms. And treating your gardens with natural ways to fight off bugs if bugs are... I'm not sure where summer is. I think it's towards the front. Yeah. Um, going after your vegetables because you know all that work you put into your garden. And now it is spring. Time to plant some of those seeds and vegetables for... Um, your harvest at the end of the summer and fall or throughout the summer I should say because tomatoes and all those you can get out in the summer. This is 10. 10 is completion and new beginnings. Number 10 means in summer is cups, emotions, feelings, love, Additional meanings, a happy marriage, people you can trust, relationships that last, feeling emotionally content, raising children wisely. This is for the Divine Feminine. Here comes my cat, Time. T-H-Y-M-E. I don't know what time it is. Oh, 9.58 on my counter. She usually comes when 
at this certain time on my clock. 442. 8, 9, 10. Oh, yeah. Equals 10. Spending time with your family and loved ones is crucial to a rich and happy life. The people you call family may be those you're related to, or they may be people whom you have chosen as your beloved community. Either way, offering love and support to those closest to you and accepting it in return is very important. Make space for them in your life. It's worth investing time and energy in your primary relationships. You can have the happy home life you're seeking filled with peace and emotional fulfillment. The couple from the Two of Summer call card have created a beautiful life for themselves and their children. That caught me off guard because I'm like, this is the Ten of Summer. But these are the couple earlier in on the journey that first met in the Two of Cups, Two of Summer card. Um, the butterfly boat near the shores of Avalon means that their emotional currents will continue to evolve and thrive. The Divine Feminine is ready. She's envisioned this beautiful life with her Divine Masculine. Okay, a face is guiding me here. Yes, and our Archangel Michael is saying that the Divine Masculine is still in that I've created this whole life and, and now something is putting... A little bit of, what is the word he wants me to say? A challenge. A challenge in front of me. And I'm not sure exactly which way I want to go. He does feel a deep love for his Divine Feminine. And he can feel her creating and pulling him towards her. In this beautiful Ten of Cups, Ten of Summer. This is really beautiful, and I think something, is it here? Yeah, it's blocking my camera there. So that's really nice. Oh, and they want me to pull a oracle card for in the middle. Okay. Okay, I got an oracle card. Oh, two of them. Your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. Have faith, like I said in the beginning. Feel into your heart. What do you desire? What is it truly you want in your life? And then we've got the marriage card. The fairies join you in celebrating what it bliss. What do you desire in the marriage card? There's going to be a lot of unions going together soon. I think the divine masculine is being magnetized by the divine feminine and is drawn to her. And she is on her journey focusing on Getting some exercise and taking care of herself and creating that love, envisioning it, and that's pulling him closer. And Archangel Michael is excited. And Archaia <laughs> Faith is smiling. <laughs> Okay, let's read from the books for these. Your desire is within reach. It's nice to have happy. Oh, Y. Start with a Y. It's B U B W X Y. <laughs> Your desire is, in, is within reach. Have faith. As everything is working in your favor. The divine. The angels, they're all working towards bringing your unions together because that is what you desire and that is what um, is written. The fairy sent this card to assure you that your prayers have been heard and are being answered for the universe is working behind the scenes to help you. 
There's so many things going on behind the seeds, and there goes a beautiful crow, so that's a message for you. Many things are going behind the scenes to help you. All is working on behalf of this union, your unions. Although you may not yet see the results, they're almost visible. Just a seed germinates below the surface prior to sprouting. And we were just talking about a garden. Into a plant. So are the desires evolving into reality. Have faith and trust that everything is working in your favor because it is. Sorry, my hair's going a little crazy there. Additional meanings. Keep your thoughts positive to attract the most favorable outcome. Overcome procrastination. And that's a good one for me because I started getting rid of things and um, it's hard to get rid of things, but um, I have many things that I haven't used and um, it's time to get rid of things you don't use. Give any fears or worries to heaven. Yeah, don't hold those like the, the nine of wands here, you know, on your back. Don't hold that, that pressure that um, alleviate that um, stress from your life because, you know, um, you can think those things and you can, can keep them creating turmoil in your mind or you cannot. So which do you prefer? You know, all, all things always work out if you believe and have true um, positive thoughts, you know. Ask for support and accept help as it's offered to you. Keep going with action steps, which will take you in the direction of your dreams. Believe in yourself. Yes. Take action steps. The law of action. One step forward opens another door or creates another... Um, um, oh, I just had the word and it flew right out of my mouth. Um, opening one door allows you to move forward and more um, options, more goodness comes to you, more direction, more guidance. All right, the marriage card. The marriage card comes out on a divine masculine and divine feminine reading. This is wonderful. Um, I like the new home one right there I just saw. <laughs> I've, been, I've been wanting to move into my own place. The fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss, and they love celebrations. They love everything glittery and sparkly and fun and with music and lights and laughter and <laughs> they love all that. Don't oh, got me dirty. Hmm? Yes. It's always a good time. You drew this card because your question involves marriage. This particular cold ho card holds valuable variable meanings. And get my words out. So pay attention to your body's reactions as you read the possible interpretations. Congratulations, you're getting married soon. Your marriage needs some healing and attention, which the fairies can help you with if you'll ask. If you're already in union and you're having any little squabbles or problems, you know, getting along. You know, we have been a apart for some time and you get used to living by yourselves and having the whole home to yourself, the whole bed to yourself, the whole refrigerator to yourself, all your cooking and all your TV fun things to yourself and now you're going to learn to share that with another person. And it might be challenging but you know these challenges are going to be fun, they're going to be romantic and going to find things that you both like together and you want to do things together and you might want to cook together and taste other the other one's style of cooking or um, playing music and dancing in the kitchen while the other one cooks or sitting there singing a song to the other one or hugging them from behind and give them a kiss there's all kinds of wonderful things that are going to be happening in your life so Try not to focus on things that aren't even happening because it's going to be 
wonderful. This is a divine union in the highest light. This is the highest union. And it's not going to be like when you were together before. Because both of you have grown. And both of you are different people now. And when you come together, um, you're going to want to be loved to each other. It's that song, that song. Um, uh, what is that song? It's coming. I can't. Love. Love them like you lost them or something. It'll come to me. Okay, additional meanings. Um, the fairies can help you with healing. All you have to do is ask. You'll soon meet someone significant as a, at a wedding. A relationship commitment is pending. Admit your true feelings to yourself regarding marriage. Someone close to you is getting married soon. Your life purpose involves helping people with romance, matchmaking, relationships, or weddings. And if you choose not to have um, a marriage, you might want to have a, a, a divine commitment to each other, you know? There are a lot of ways. One more overall card, okay. From which deck? Okay, Archangel Michael wants me to mention that um, it's important to focus on a higher perspective in your life. This union is important. It when you when the masculine and feminine come together and unite their lights, um, they make a divine light. And right now the earth is needing that light. So trust, trust that all things will work out as they're meant to. And, um, and have faith. Have faith in knowing that um, this is for a higher cause and a higher calling. And this is, this is for, um, the ascension. This light will bring others to see um, the beautifulness of this union and, and they will want to shine their lights and create love like this too and shine their lights bright. From the tarot or the oracle? Oracle. Okay, one more card from the oracle. Messages of the magical fairies. Magical messages of the fairies. They are magical now. They're magical to me. And um, it's still April, so remember the animal spirit cards. The koala spirit, um, you know, that spirit has a plan for you. Up high in the tops of the trees, looking down a higher perspective of life, a positive perspective. And the grasshopper spirit. Take that leap of faith. I know it's scary. And the divine masculine does hesitate. Because he doesn't want his life changed. And he thinks that um, all his work and all his um, creations and, and all his hard work. Uh, you know, he has to share with someone else. All his labors. Years and years of making this life but she did too you know so you're going to bring these together no one's taking anything you're going to be uniting that's why it's called a union you're uniting where's the last card who wants to Ooh, there it is emotional healing as your heart heals of old emotional pain you receive new blessings and love yes heal your heart um it's the new moon. It's a good time to put out those new inspiring thoughts and wishes to the universe and to, to ask for a healing guidance to your heart and to um, release anything from the past, any kind of prejudgments or that's this book. 
negative thoughts and to look forward to, you know, having the love of your life. Remember when you were with your divine counterpart and how good that feeling is every time you saw each other, that, that beautiful magic that you created. Emotional healing. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. This card signifies that you're healing some old emotional pain. The first thing that comes to mind is exactly the issue you're resolving. As you let go of anger, guilt, or emotional, other emotional wounds, you awaken a new level of power within yourself that attracts everything you desire. Yes. That's what I just said. <laughs> and more. Call upon the fairies as well as supportive people or professionals to help you through this time of healing. Know that you're lovable and you deserve a happy heart. Additional meanings of this card. The situation you're asking about has an emotional basis. Physical healing occurs as a body as a result of emotional healing. You're preparing for a new love by healing old hurt from a previous partnership. Consult with a professional counselor or join a support group. Journal about your feelings. This situation is bringing about tremendous personal growth. Yes, because we were, you know, we have been through a lot on this journey. That's how we grew into such strong people through the tests and the trials of our past relationships, our past situations and challenges we went through. And everyone went through those, but use those towards the positive. What did I learn from this? What can I take with me? What can I leave behind? You know, I want to be, I want to be um, patient and loving. I don't want to um, react. I want to respond. I want to love my um, divine masculine, divine feminine, with all my heart and. Um, sow seeds of love between us and grow together and become one and um, not carry any of those past relationship uh, you know things that went wrong in your other life you know life relationships during this life with you because this is not that relationship this is a new relationship this is a divine relationship a divine union it's important to be, sorry, my alarm's going off, to be positive and to look forward to this. It's, it's going to be beautiful. Just like coming out of the cold winter and going to the fresh spring and venturing out and planting seeds of love and happiness and then the summer comes and you enjoy that with each other, you know? Okay, I'm going to go for now, and um, I hope you received uh, great guidance in this message. It was beautiful, beautiful message. Thank you, Archangel Michael and, and Archaia Faith for joining us today. And thank you all for coming by. I love you all. And if you like the video, um, please subscribe if you'd like to join our tribe here, our soul family. And... Um, Ring the bell for new notifications of when I put up another video. And um, let's, let's, you know, go with, have faith and, and reach for that ten of cups in your life and, and um, be happy and bring these unions together. Okay, I love you all. Let's have faith, okay? All right, namaste. Mwah. Love and light to you all. Take care of you. Love you.